Now, boys and girls, I ain't never been the type of guy to tell somebody how to raise their child in their own house or how to live their life in general. But come on, y'all, this is ridiculous. I thought that we, my generation, was supposed to be better than this. I thought that young black men and women were supposed to break the cycle of broken homes and toxic relationships, not continue it. And every last one of y'all in the comments condoning broken home behavior, y'all need to be held accountable too. Y'all in the comments talking about some, oh, right on, girl. You go, girl. You don't need no man to help raise no baby. Y'all are part of the problem because y'all condone this BS. We've all seen how this is going from start to finish and how much worse it's going to get now that a child is in the picture. These two are dysfunctional. But do you guys think that I'm making excuses if I say that Krishan is a product of her environment, meaning that toxicity is dysfunction, it's all she knows? I mean, she grew up in a household where she saw nothing but fighting, cussing, screaming, arguing. She saw all that, so she's going to think that that's normal. So, of course, she's going to get get with a guy like Blueface and continue the cycle. And Blueface, as the man in this relationship, as the man in this situation, he needs to be held just as accountable, if not more. One, you need to be careful who you put your seed in. And number two, you need to be careful who you involve yourself with, especially if you know that person has a sketchy past. And I say Blueface is the one that's worse in the situation because he is enabling this. He is condoning this toxic behavior. He's the one that's throwing fuel in the fire instead of saying, just look, we're not right for each other. We might not be right for each other at this moment. I need to go search, do some soul search. I need to get myself right. And you, you need to go find some counseling or get some kind of help or something. Instead of just constantly bickering back and forth, fighting each other, going back and forth on social media, being petty, and sleeping around with whoever the hell wants to sleep with you. But if you go to any counselor or any psychiatrist, they will tell you the first step is admitting that you have a problem. But Krishan and Blueface don't think they have a problem. They don't think there's anything wrong with the behavior they get in. And a lot of us are at insult of injury because we're eating the drama up. Is it interesting? Yes. Is it toxic? Hell yes. Should this, emulate, should this behavior be emulated? Hell no. Nah. And I'm telling y'all, it's only going to get worse from here. Now that a child is in the picture, now that they're going to be going back and forth to court over custody and child support. And also, it could get personal because they're not together. So they got to watch who who um, Krishan brings around their child. And she's going to be petty about it and try to make Blueface mad. And Blueface is screwing around on Krishan any damn way. I don't know if they have an open relationship or whatever the hell. But yes, they both need to be careful because I've seen situations like this get deadly and dangerous. But hey, I ain't no relationship counselor. I ain't no guru. I'm just a guy on the internet who talks about what he sees. Take what I say with a grain of salt. But anyway, what do y'all think about this fiasco?